What is going on? Welcome back to the world according to Briggs. Let's talk about the best states to live in poverty here in the United States. We already did a video about the worst states to live in if you're living below the poverty line. Today, we're gonna show you the best states to live in. Poverty in the United States has been bad for decades. The poverty rate for 2020 was around 12 to 15%, depending on what study you look at. That means somewhere between 45 and 50 million Americans are living in poverty right now. Today, we're looking at the states where those 45 to 50 million Americans have the best chances of getting help, getting by, and maybe getting out of poverty. Let's take a look. Number 10, Maine. Maine has one of the lowest crime rates in the United States. I mean, statewide, there's like next to no crime here compared to a lot of other states in this country. Why does that matter? If you're living in poverty, there's usually a lot of crime going on around you. That's no knock about people living in poverty. That's just a sad fact. In Maine, the state and local welfare spending per capita is $2,615. 10.6% of Maine lives in poverty. Number nine, Wisconsin. I'm a big fan of Wisconsin. I really like this state, but I'm also a big fan of watching videos of people falling down escalators and getting tased by the police. I don't know why. Maybe you shouldn't judge places by if I like it or not. Wisconsin is a great state with not a really high cost of living. It's actually just below the national average. Same thing goes for their housing costs, just a little bit below the national average. Wisconsin also has a really low crime rate. I mean, they've got one city that's got a good amount of crime and that's Milwaukee, but the rest of the state is doing really good when it comes to their crime rate. Wisconsin is one of the top five states when it comes to helping residents with food insecurity, and their poverty rate has been dropping in recent years, so that's a plus. Their state and local welfare spending per capita is $2,705. Only 10% of Wisconsin lives in poverty. Number eight, New Hampshire. New Hampshire is a great state if you're living in poverty. They help people so much, they actually have one of the lowest poverty rates in the nation. The people that do take advantage of the different programs they have normally aren't on it more than a few months, maybe a year. After that, they're on their way to recovery and getting out of poverty if they can. And when it comes to crime, New Hampshire is always the top state for the lowest crime rate in the nation. Maine does a good job. New Hampshire blows them out of the water. The one knock about New Hampshire, their cost of living is kind of high and so is their housing, but they have enough programs to help people, you know, make ends meet. State and local welfare spending per capita is $2,810. And that's per month, by the way. One other thing I should mention and probably should have mentioned at the beginning, but that like $2,800 they got going on in New Hampshire, that's not the check these people are getting. That's how much they're spending per person, but that includes the whole process, the bureaucracy, the people working in the welfare office, the food stamps program, things like that. Only 7% of New Hampshire lives in poverty. Number seven, Michigan. So why is Michigan one of the best states to be living in poverty? Well, the state and local officials have had a lot of practice dealing with people living in poverty. If you look at Detroit, Flint, and a bunch of other cities, they've had some serious poverty issues going on for quite some time. The good news is Michigan has one of the lowest costs of living and their housing is dirt cheap in most areas. Sure, they got some really nice neighborhoods and towns where it gets a little expensive, but a majority of this state has really affordable housing. The entire state of Michigan has a 12.6% poverty rate, which is pretty high. It's over the national average. Detroit has a 35% poverty rate. That's high. But 10 years ago, their poverty rate was 46%. State and local welfare spending in Michigan is $2,034. Number six, Indiana. Indiana's one of the better states to raise a family, especially a family that ain't making that much money. They have a low cost of living, houses are reasonable, and they got pretty good schools. They also have a low crime rate, which would be considered exceptionally low if they took Indianapolis out of the equation. The Hoosier state is a great state for families that are struggling. That's just the reality of the Hoosier state. But 11.6% of Indiana's residents live below the poverty line, and their state and local welfare spending per capita is $2,615. Number five, Kentucky. The bluegrass state is sort of known for their poverty. Kentucky is like one of the leading producers of generational poverty. But the great news is they got a really low cost of living. Their houses in most places are really inexpensive and they have a lot of programs and spend a lot of money 
on their residents that are unfortunate enough to live below the poverty line. I was reading one post about a guy who said that he lived in Kentucky most of his life and it was easy to live off the land there. It wasn't really a challenge. Obviously, a situation like that is going to be in the rural areas. You're not going to find people living off the land in Louisville and like Lexington. 14.9% of Kentucky's population lives below the poverty line and their state and local welfare spending per capita is $2,640. <laughs> Number four, Ohio. We just did a video the other day about cities in the United States that have homes, a bunch of them in each city, for under $100,000. Ohio had four cities. Dayton, Cleveland, Canton, and Springfield, Ohio all have a whole bunch of homes that are well below the $100,000 mark. When I say well below, you can find a lot of good homes there for like eighty dollars and $70,000. you are going to have to do some work, like I said in that video, but they're there. So the cost of living and the cost of housing is really low in Ohio. And if you're scraping by, this is a good place where you could actually... Maybe get ahead and buy a home. One of your best options is Ohio. They have a lot of programs to help people get out of poverty in Ohio, too. The state and local welfare spending per capita is $2,650, and only 12.6% of their population live in poverty currently. Like I said, it was up over 14% not too long ago. Number three, Pennsylvania. The Keystone State sort of surprised me. I thought for sure they would have more people living below the poverty line than the national average. They don't. They're just below it. And that's good. You know, you got towns like Scranton, Philadelphia, Pittsburgh, Reading. You would just think they'd have a lot of people living below the poverty line. You learn something new every day. I think a lot of it has to do with the amount of programs they have to help people get back on their feet or get out of poverty. A lot of the different areas of Pennsylvania have a really low cost of living and affordable housing. So that's always a plus. On top of that, there their property crime rates are pretty low. Only 10.9% of Pennsylvania's residents live below the poverty line. State and local welfare spending per capita is $2,700. Number two, Vermont. Imagine that, Vermont and New Hampshire on the same list. It is the weirdest thing. They're right next to each other on the map. They're very similar in just about everything, and they're always, always on the same list together. Vermont is the second best state in the union if you are poor, and that is because of all their different programs. They've been also doing a lot to get people back on their feet. They've actually had their unemployment and their poverty rates dropping faster than just about any other state. One big negative they do have is their cost of living is kind of high. You'd want it to be a little bit lower if you're trying to get back on your feet, but they do have a lot of programs to help you cope with that. And that's how they get on here. State and local welfare spending per capita in Vermont is $2,810 and their poverty rate is 9.4%. Not a bad number. All right, before we get to number one, don't forget we have another channel called On This Day. There's a link down below. Head over there, subscribe, watch some videos, give some videos big thumbs up, just like this one. All right, on to number one. And number one, West Virginia. If any state has the most experience with people living in poverty, it is West Virginia. I mean, they beat out Mississippi, Kentucky, Arkansas, Louisiana, and Alabama. They've had a high poverty rate since around, I don't know, the Civil War. I mean, long before the coal industry started to fade. They have more programs dealing with poverty per capita than any other state. What makes them the best state to be living in poverty in, it's because of all the different programs. Their cost of living is the absolute lowest on this list, and their housing is probably the lowest in the nation right now. Real estate prices fluctuate every single month, but I'm guaranteed they're in the top three right now. And even though what they spend on welfare and social services is a little bit lower than some of the other ones on this list, because their cost of living is so low and housing so low, they spend quite a lot on people living below the poverty line. West Virginia's state and local welfare spending per capita is $2,708. Like I said, that's not as much as some of the other ones on this list, but their cost of living is so low. And 15.9% of their population population lives below the poverty line right now. I always hope West Virginia will do a great turnaround. I really do. I love the state. I love the people there. I have some friends there. The states, like I've said many times before, they've just had incredibly bad luck over the last couple decades. Hopefully they'll pull out of it. And prices are so low. It's such a beautiful state. Maybe it's time people actually start looking at West Virginia as a solid option to relocate. I mean, with all the people working from home, might be a great idea. All right, that's today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you got some information out of it. Now go out, have a great day, be nice to each other.